The Grenada government remains a secretive on its handling of attempts by the Silver Sands Resort to build walls on Grand Anse Beach. It has been almost a week since the physical planning unit submitted a report to government recommending that the construction not be allowed. Representatives from the Egyptian-based investor met once with government and a second meeting is planned. However, government continues to refuse to say when this meeting will take place or when the findings of the physical planning unit investigation will be made public. The walls, which have been identified as garden walls, are located on either end of the beachfront. Friday, the head of the physical planning unit, Fabian Purcell, confirmed that his department had submitted its report on the matter but would not divulge details. TVA Consultants, the company handling the resort development, have not spoken publicly on the matter, but sources tell us they are likely to comply, although no move has been made to shorten the walls. WPG10 sought a direct comment from the company, but Nigel Rennick could not be reached. There is also mounting fear that government's failure to instruct the developers to cease constructing the walls might be an indication that the developers are reluctant to comply. The additional works along the beachfront is within the exclusion zone for buildings. And while it is not a building, the wall's location raises concerns about public space. The encroachment has raised public fears that the stretch of beach in front of the Silver Sands could be cordoned off to eventually manage access. Silver Sands was described as an ultra-class resort, catering specifically to the ultra-rich and famous, with rates four times more than what is charged by the most high-end resorts operating on the island. The issue of who approved construction of the walls remains unanswered at this time. According to a government source, the project plans submitted to the Planning and Development Authority by the unit would have met all requirements. The authority is guided by the Planning and Development Act, and its board is responsible for all final approvals. It is still not clear whether the physical planning board knew of or approved the wall. Restrictions for coastal development prohibits the construction of buildings within 65 meters of the high water. The resort buildings appear to be just within the prescribed distance, though the official boundary on the beachfront is said to be further out, beyond the resort's temporary fence. Speaking on the matter, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell was confident that the resort developers would not engage in actions detrimental to the country's best interests. We asked members of the public to comment on the situation. In my opinion, I think that's not right for the, for the nation. It was the same thing. There was a guy in last year just came and do the same thing, put a gate, which we had marched down. That would create a revolution more serious in Grenada. So they kind of put a block away the beach from the people. That's John. It's on the beach if, if it comes to that. On the beach? This beach is mine, this beach is yours, this beach is everybody. No hotel, no, no beach in this country. No hotel. And no one man and no couple own no beach in the The beach belongs to all of us. I jab beach. There's pros and cons to everything. If it's privatized, where we could protect our citizens, especially our young children who have been brought to the beaches with, by married men that want to keep having sex with them there, then that's different. But then again, if, if, if our children are getting legitimate jobs in the hotels, I mean, as I said, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. Public reaction to the Silver Sands garden walls. Up to publishing, the walls remained in place, although there were indications that the length may not extend further. In a social media post recently, Randall Robinson, who brought the issue to public attention, called for public action. For WPG 10, I'm Calistra Farrier reporting.